guys, I'm so happy you're watching this video because today is the first vlog from Russia on this channel. We are in Svetlogorska. It's a very beautiful town close to the Baltic Sea. Actually, we are right on the seashore. And now we are, will go to show you how beautiful it is here. And we came to Kaliningrad one week ago. And today, finally, we have an opportunity to spend some time with you, to film a little bit for you, to show how everything looks here. And Dima is behind the camera. <laughs> he is my cameraman today. And the, the girls are staying with their granny in Kaliningrad, so we are spending the whole weekend together. So let's go to see what's going on there. We got several comments where, in which you asked why we are in Russia right now, despite the fact that we have the ongoing process with our mortgage uh, in the Netherlands, and we are still in the process of doing the whole a set of documents and Zima is in stable contact with the agent and with the mortgage advisor because they delayed actually several documents, right? Yeah, unfortunately due to uh, circumstances the whole process is a little bit longer than we would like it to be and uh, we, we have uh, we, we, Yeah, we have to, uh, to plan some and to, to do some documentational work, let's say, yeah, here so in Russia. Some processes were a little bit delayed, but still everything is online. And uh, despite this fact, we are very happy. And actually, we came here just because we wanted to meet our family. Really, we just meet them. Some of our family members, we didn't see them for two years. Some of them, we didn't see them for three years. And also, um, my mother-in-law came and my sister-in-law came and uh, yeah, it's a little bit narrow here and it's you know guys we walk on snow yeah when you are not used to go on snow all the time it's it's different yeah it's different you it's like uh, training it's like, it's like walking on sand yeah kind of. it's like like walking on sand yeah just drop your comments below have you ever walked on the snow <laughs> have you ever been in a snowy country if yes please please let me know where because it's really interesting to discuss and definitely i know you will ask what is surprising for us here <laughs> well uh, the thing is that it is my native place i have grown up here but the thing that surprises me actually is that the first two days you have to get used to that everyone speaks your native language. It's like you have a feeling that like you unlock some code or something because I'm so used in the Netherlands, right, that people speak Dutch. Or in Poland. Or in Poland, when we yeah. didn't speak Polish, that people speak foreign language and you don't really understand what's going on around you. But here you understand everything. So you can secretly <laughs> chat in in your native language with both yeah. of us. So we kind of were really <laughs> kind of discussing maybe pe people around us or just yeah. speaking in, in Russian. And now we have to be much more careful with this. But we can we can we can discuss the yes. in English or Polish. So we switch if we have to discuss something not, yet. not for the whole audience. We just switch to English or we switch yeah. to Polish and. Later we will switch to Dutch. And so I have, Sometime. A, I have a question for Dima. So Dima, what's surprising for you here? As uh, some of you know, we've, we haven't been living in Russia for uh, almost 10 years now. 10 we've years, been living yeah, in, in, already. In, in Poland and uh, in the Netherlands. <laughs> and uh, well, we naturally not got used anymore to some uh, things. And uh, the things, when, when, when you cross the border, when you come into to Russia, the first thing which uh, always Surprise me, it's not unexpected, but really surprised me is the kind of the level of advertisement here yeah, uh, in the street when you go out somewhere, you see a lot of yeah. advertisements and a different kind, and it's usually very aggressive. Yeah. Where we, we can ju just show you something, maybe yeah, translate yeah, yeah, something, yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, this is something you see like a very big letters everywhere advertisement to buy some uh, cheap stuff, and uh, the whole focus of advertisement on a on the cheap stuff on price so you yeah. can you can afford this you can take this uh, uh, using the credit etc et et discounts everywhere yeah. yeah so the focus is really on the on the price tag 
Also, yeah. there are a lot of uh, companies providing small credits, like for buying a fridge, for example. If you want to buy a refrigerator, you can't afford it, you can take a loan. If you want to buy a telephone, you can't afford it, you can take a loan. So this thing is very popular in Russia, unfortunately. And a lot of people, they get like, I don't know, five, six, seven little credits at the same time. And which is, of course, not healthy for the budget, for the psychology. And for me, the third thing which really shocked me was the amount of alcohol shops oh, yes. everywhere. Yeah, and uh, I, I think like when we were living here like 10 years ago, the, the, the amount of sh uh, alcohol shops w was not so, uh, so significant. I'm, I'm just going out for, my, for Marina here. <laughs> the, the amount of sh shops was not so significant. There were alcohol shops with a beer uh, here and there, but nowadays, if you just go to a kind of any, uh, well, five uh, floors um, uh, living house, and you will see that almost in every such house, there is at least one uh, alcohol shop, which, uh, yeah, which is crazy. It's, it's just a shop with a, with a, with a, with the alcohol, which means people uh, drinking much more nowadays, right? It's getting popular and, uh, well, it's crazy. For today, I really want to buy a very nice beer, which is called Schwiturgis. So this is the brand from Lithuania. And I just love it. Just one bottle will be perfect for the evening. Now we are going to find something to eat, maybe to take out, because we are not allowed to the restaurant with our PCRs, which are not ready and with the European vaccination. And uh, we will show you the um, seaside, which is really very beautiful. We are going up to the lift. Uh, there is a, a lift Ooh. and a sightseeing view called Panorama. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Dima is buying the ticket. Вот так все тут классно выглядит. <laughs> I can't say anything. Yeah. We bought tickets. This is everything is so beautiful. I have to enter. Okay. Looks like we're in a skyscraper kind of. Yeah. It's really beautiful here. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's just really high. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, beautiful. How did you like it? Oh yeah, it's amazing. Nice, nice view as you can see. I really like mm. it. Very beautiful. Yeah. So now we have two tasks to complete. We yeah. have to buy a beautiful ceramic house for us, for yeah. ourselves, and to buy some sweets for our granny actually for her amazing for work yeah pants for kids candies for granny yeah <laughs> let's, let's go. go let's go When we were in a shop, I didn't film anything, of course, but we will film the unpacking of our little tiny house. So we bought something like this one, just to have it. So this is very typical souvenir from this place. So here is the house. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah. Believe us, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You'll see in the next vlog probably. Marina, what do you drink? Uh, this is a special type of Russian tea. Um, I don't know how to say it in English, but it is a special tree from which it is made. So it looks like this. There are the flowers. There are orange flowers. And it's very tasty. Oblipiha. Oblipiha. In Russian. <laughs> And now it's time for the salads, the starters. Salads are very popular in Russia. And then we are waiting for our main course. And finally we managed to find a place to eat and to enjoy this evening together. And actually this is quite a very... Well, for local people everyone knows this restaurant because it's a very nice place with uh, very fresh fish and really nice service. And uh, just guess how much did we pay for two hot courses with fish, two salads and two desserts. And a tea. And a tea. Okay, we d will not wait too long. We paid uh, 2100 uh, rubles which is 25 euros 20 25 euros 25 yeah. euros so this is the thing which is not surprising for us because we know the prices here but if you guys travel in Russia it will be very cheap for you <laughs> indeed
guys, we are already at the hotel room and right now I want to share with you the only issue we have here in Russia in this trip. The problem is that our QR codes and our vaccines, which we took in the Netherlands, are not accepted in Russia and we have to do the PCR tests each time we go somewhere. Actually, today here in this hotel, <laughs> it's not possible. Come on. <laughs> well, it's not possible to uh, check in without the PCR test. But the issue, the second issue is that we took it yesterday and it will be ready. We never know when it is ready, so it can be it should, ready. It should be ready yeah. by the end of the day today. And, um, well, it can be yeah. like at uh, 11 p.m. or even 12 p.m. You never know. And until this time, like in theory, you will not be able to sign uh, to check into the hotel. And the problem is if you are making it like a, if we would make it like not not yesterday, but two days before. Unfortunately, it's only valid for uh, 48 hours. So if we yeah. make it like two days before, it's not valid already today. So the craziest, you have a very short yeah. period when you can show it. The craziest thing is that we even can't go to the restaurant, like normal restaurant where you can sit and eat uh, without local vaccine. So yeah, we can't go to the restaurant, so we will pick up yeah. some you take away eat, food. Yeah. You, can, you cannot go to the restaurant without the QR yeah. code of, of the vaccine. And even if you do have a PCR test, you are not accepted uh, in, the restaurant. Be, yeah, in the restaurant. So in some restaurants, actually, they can scan European vaccines. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also went to a restaurant uh, which didn't check the vaccine at all. But yeah, so the reality is like this. But even despite this issue, we are very happy right, to enjoy this day together.